We are here at the Big Daddy Golf Outing, and this year it's supporting St. Jude's Children's Hospital. We're very excited because today I'm going to pass off my baton. That's right, on the red carpet, it's none other than Harlan Friedman. Woohoo! Take so, it away. So, <laughs> anyway, we are here live at the Big Daddy Golf Tournament. Donna, thanks for having me today. You're welcome. I just know that you know much more about sports than I do. And I know a little bit more about lifestyle than you do, although you're a very sharp dresser. I do what I can. I yeah. do what I can. But I today, Saks is one of the big sponsors. Absolutely. I'm going to try to score a suit. There you go. Yes. Saks Fifth Avenue. But you're looking fine. You're looking oh, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Looks uh, very nice, too. So stay tuned for more on all the coverage. Live it up. Live it up. Here with the man of the hour, Big Daddy. What's up, brother? Hey, man. How are you? Thank you for being here. Oh, bro, please, please. Congratulations. This is the third annual tournament. It really has become the premier golf <laughs> tournament out here. Um, how do you do it, man? You know what? With a lot of help and a lot of uh, patience, it's uh, become a full-time job, <laughs> sort of speak. And uh, but you know what? It's all for good. And uh, if children benefit, there's nothing better in the world. Yeah, now you've been doing a lot of work with St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Uh, I mean, that just must be the most rewarding part of all this. It is, and especially after I just came from visiting down there, and when you see it all and you get to visit with the kids and the parents and all the wonderful things that they do down there, it's, I, I was speechless. Right, right. Now it's incredible to be able to give back, and 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 your friends. I mean, obviously you have a lot of friends. They yeah. all come and support. Yeah, it's you know you got guys from. I got guys that flew in from L.A., you know, uh, Texas, and, you know, they're all professional athletes, some entertainers, some media people. So it all comes together, and it's a great way to give back. Everybody has, no one has a problem with it. Now, I know your man Michael Strahan's coming in late, later. Yeah, he's, uh, he's working in it. You know, he's on such a schedule that even if he did come, I don't, you know, you, you can't, because he's on a different level now. He is right? not Michael Strahan, the football player. He is Michael Strahan, the celebrity that everybody's trying to get at the hottest guy on TV right now absolutely now he's a freshly minted member of Canton going yes. to the Hall of Fame what advice do you give him on the speech well I don't give him any I'm just fortunate to be there and uh, I'm excited and delighted for him so he could say 10 words or no words and I'm still gonna be happy absolutely big daddy congratulations brother thank you, my man. Appreciate okay it. thank you for being here please thank you we're here with big daddy at Ohika Castle for the third annual big daddy celebrity golf tournament and we are here with one of a kind, actor Robert Davi. How you doing, Robert? All right. How are you, bro? Good, good, good to good, see good, you. Good. So it's great to see you here again. What's this? What's this event mean to you? I'm just here to support Big Daddy and uh, you know come out for him, whatever I can for St. Jude's Hospital and uh, the humanitarian thing, and just to, as a friend. That's it. It, uh, it. It's meaningful if it's a success for Big Daddy and it raises money for the charity and helps a lot of people. So that's what what I'm here for. Great, and I, you know, we were talking to Danny A before, I know you got into film. Oh, you film. spoke to him? Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, good. We actually worked together back in, the, back in his former career. Oh, we okay, good. Together. But I uh, said you guys are working on a picture. Yeah, we have The Life yep. that we f just finished, uh, we acted, and we did The Iceman together, and then we just did The Life, and now we're doing a documentary uh, on uh, my musical journey and Sinatra's 100th uh, Centennial. Right. So, uh, it's a, I think, you know, very excited about that. I'll be performing July 19th at the uh, Eisenhower Park. It's going to be a great show. Yeah, you're going to come? Absolutely, oh, good. absolutely. Good. We're here with Jeff Schwartz from the New York Giants. Jeff, thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to talk to Live It Up. Yeah, no problem. Great, and uh, what's it mean to you to be here today at the Big Daddy Celebrity Golf Tournament? Well, anytime I get a chance to help uh, Big Daddy out, I, I'm going to do it. And I know this event is really dear to him, so it's nice to be able to come out and uh, help him, uh, you know, raise some money. Awesome, and the fact that it benefits St. Jude's Children's Hospital, I know you do a lot of work with charities, yeah. and what's that mean to you? Well, again, you know, anytime you get a chance to, to give back to the community, especially in the position I'm in, you, know, you get to take the opportunity, this is just kind of another event to uh, be able to do that, and, you know, I take kind of pride in being able to help, you know, raise money and, um, and do what I can from the platform I have. Absolutely, I know it's the beginning of the summer, so obviously just got out of mini camp. Yeah. How'd it go? Well, mini camp was good. Uh, you know, we see strides every day, which yeah. is what we want in that time of year, and um, I'm just kind of looking forward to my summer break. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, how's our quarterback looking? Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's healthy. He's ready to go. He's energized, and uh, we'll have a good season. Great. You gonna play some golf today? Yeah, I'll play. Not very well, but I'll be playing. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time. No problem. Okay. We're here with Howard Cross at the Big Daddy Celebrity Annual Golf Tournament here, supporting St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Howard, how you feeling today? I'm hot. Uh, I'm wearing all black. Black people just burst in flames in the 80s, and I'm just a little nervous right now. <laughs> it is. I look. I, I copied your style today. 
I know we're trying to look slimming. Does this work, Harlan? I'm yeah, I think I think I think it took three pounds <laughs> off. Yeah, we sweated it <laughs> off. Absolutely, absolutely. So, what's it mean to you to be a part of this tournament again this year? You know what? Big Daddy has a lot of great friends, a lot of guys who support him. He's a great person. I tell my kids all the time: if you want to be successful in life, make sure that when people leave you, they have good things to say about you, and that's what Big Daddy's like. So, it's great to be around him, and he has a, you know a couple of great charities here as well. Absolutely. So, uh, so how are we looking this year? What, what do you think about the Giants this year? Oh man, it's, everybody's been asking me that. <laughs> um, Should I ask about the Jets instead? Is that <laughs> the Giants are the best? The best I can tell you about the Giants right now. You know, Eli's coming off that ankle. Hopefully, he'll be healthy and upright. Trying to get uh, BD back at the left tackle. Uh, we lost Beeson the other day with a, with, a, with, a, with a broken foot, but he. Unfortunately, he's one of those guys that kind of gets banged up a lot. Uh, when you start having things happen to your lower extremities, they happen a lot. But we'll see because I, I think that you know they've, they've made some very great improvements in the draft and some free agency pickups. Yeah, I like the Odell Beckham pick. I think that's going to work out nice. Odell Beckham is, uh, thank God he's out of the uh, college ranks. He was killing Alabama every year, so I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i got to ask you, I know you spent a lot of time at WFAN. Uh, you mess with those morning show guys at all? No, man. Boom and Carton, that's not my deal, man. I'm not, no? No, no, no. Uh, uh, I would do it if, if I could swear on the air and say what I think of them sometimes, but no, I don't know. No, no, they're, <laughs> they're doing a great job. I love Boom and Carton. They're, they're doing a good job. Uh, those guys, the guys over at ESPN, Mike and Mike, they do a good job. Sure. Uh, I don't know how you get that job, but you know, I try to sign up for it. They won't take me. You, you want to do a demo with me? Maybe we could take the next yeah, morning show. Take, we'll do the next morning show. We'll be awesome. We should do one. Let totally, me know. Totally we'll down. Do I don't know what we're going to be talking about, but absolutely. We'll talk yeah, about we'll anything. we'll talk about slimming black outfits and, uh, yeah, uh, that and sports. Will be, we will be special at slimming black outfits. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, thanks for taking the time, buddy. Absolutely. Nice All right. See you. you too. <laughs> up next on Live It Up is Chris Algieri, but this is a special dedication to Judy Prianti. We're sending you big kisses for Thanks you. Aunt Judy. Love you, Aunt Judy. Woo! <laughs> so hi, welcome to the show. Hey, Glad to be here. Thank you. She's going to absolutely love that. Great. <laughs> so I met Judy years ago doing uh, acting when she was okay. doing The Sopranos, yes. and she's such a huge supporter mm -hmm. of yours. You're local. Yeah. So tell us about your experience here and what it feels like to be here at Ohika celebrating your big win. It was just a week ago. Yeah, I, I live 15 minutes east of here. You know, so like when I was, you know, talking to Big Daddy about this event, it was, you know, I was like, no brainer. I'm here. You know, I was, I was in Tampa. I just got back yesterday, and uh, I'm here and, 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 you know, helping, looking to help out and support this great cause. What was the moment of inspiration for you when you decided to choose this as a career path? Um, probably when I was about seven years old, my grandfather was just talking about fighters. He, I think he specifically was talking about Alexis Arguello and Oscar De La Hoya. So seeing those guys and, and, and being a little kid and watching that, that was really, you know, why I wanted to do this. And when you're a champion, a lot more training is necessary. So how has your life changed a little bit since you got the title? Um, I've always trained very, very hard and very, um, you know, specifically for my fights. So the training hasn't changed all that much. Um, more it's just how many more people are paying attention you know i'm doing pretty much if any broke don't fix it so what i've been doing has been working for for past 20 fights but uh but now we're just getting a lot more eyes excellent um and what would you like to say to inspire others that are considering this as a profession i would say stay in school 100 percent stay in school because you can do both i did you know, I have a master's degree from, from New York Tech, and I have an undergrad degree from Stony Brook. So you can still be a professional athlete and to pursue you know, your schooling. And if it comes down to one or the other, go to school. Don't box. <laughs> With us now, right here at the castle, a representative from Saks Fifth Avenue. Yay! We're here in Cold Spring Hills. How are you today? Hi, this is wonderful. It's a great day, having a good time. Um, we're so happy. We're one of the sponsors here with Big Daddy for this event today. St. Jude's is such an important cause as well. And uh, we've actually worked a very long time to be a part of this. We're very happy to uh, do what we can for the cause. And were some of the um, apparel items sponsored by Saks, or what was your um, contribution to the event to make it so wonderful this year? Well, our contribution, of course, is to sponsor it. But what we do have uh, happening here tonight is that we will be showing some of our fashions and uh, hopefully selling some of them to help support the cause. Well, Saks is such an internationally well-known brand, so we thank you on behalf of everyone uh, for the difference that your brand is making. So thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure. 